Among the books I have in my library is this unread one, Sex Variants. And it... Why do I even have this? Homosexual Patterns. Was I trying to find something about myself here? But Thomas... Narcissistic Cases. Dominated by unconventional women. Especially an older sister who resembles him physically. Slept with father. You. Anyway. All sorts of excitement. What I liked about it, and what caused me to pay five dollars for it somewhere, was these charts that put all of these factoids into some sort of array that will probably, oops, sorry, array, which will probably somehow prove that with all of this, these givens, Z and W and X and Y and Z that see this little hand, this little tiny hand there that's pointing. I don't know if that's the person that we're supposed to be talking about. See, they had children. These two things had children, and some of them have dots. There's like semaphore flags. D and E. Alcoholic, divorced, mentally retarded, neurotic, depressed. Whatever happened to just normal people? Anyway, in this book, as I was looking for charts, neurotic, divorced, homosexual, artistic, I uh, saw that there was a issue. Now I thought, well, what could have caused this issue to happen? And the fact that this was bent over before the page was printed, it's interesting that this is some pre-publishing, pre-printing issue that happened with that page. So is it something that happened in the paper mill? Probably. And whoever was in charge of inspecting, inspected by, was asleep at the wheel. Or alcoholic, or neurotic, or divorced, or homosexual. Or promiscuous. See? What, what's wrong? Where's the little chart that says well-balanced and an upstanding member of society? And this is why some people, to this day, seem to think that people that are homosexuals are evil because we don't have any choice. Died in childhood. We can be divorced, promiscuous, alcoholic, neurotic, or homosexual. Or maybe homosexuals are the result of neurotic neuroses and alcoholism. Who knows? Why am I showing you this book? Um, I don't know. Let's put it away and take out what I wanted to show you. We'll do another challenge drawing. I got a new pen in the mail. And we'll draw with it. Ooh, some peas. We'll take, we'll do with some peas here. This is the pen I got in the mail from eBay. And I didn't pay very much money for it, thankfully. But it's charming. The lever, as you can see, is missing and broken. Um, I have not put a sack in it yet, but it can take a sack. The nib of course, is the most important part. It, too, has suffered trauma. 
I don't know if you can see, but it's been bent around a bit and dinged. And, but it does have iridium, and it does have flexibility to it. So even though this 100-year-old pen is missing a lever and has a couple of dents in it, you can see dent right there where the recipient, the owner of this pen, fell against the bulkhead when the, mm, what shall we say, when the troop ship was hit by the torpedo, World War II, um, that's where we're, we'll leave it at that. And now I have to say hello. Hello! I'm making a, I'm making a little video, so I can't talk. So these are going to be the, um, What will these be? Oh, they can be, I know what they can be. These can be the horses. What do horses look like? Horses getting ready for their their big run, awaiting their jockey. The one on top will have his jockey already. This looks like the horse that Lucy and Ethel became in some sort of show. They would. Lucy was, of course, in the front, and Ethel was, of course, in the back, and. Ricky Ricardo is, and Fred Mertz are bemoaning their pathetic state married to these two people. So anyway, so there's Lucy in the front and Ethel in the rear. And the other horse is a little less can horses do this with their tail? Stick them up like a cat again, or a dog. Um, as you can see the way I'm drawing, I'm sort of drawing not very uh, carefully. And I've been doing that with these particular drawings because I sort of want to show all of you that you don't have to draw very well to be able to play this kind of a game. All you really need is, I guess I was going to put the jockey there, wasn't I? Well, never mind. Um, all you really need is an imagination. And you can play. Drawing skills in the sense of being able to render something realistically is especially not required in this particular game. Um, I'm having the same problem with this one as I had with the other ones I did the other day where I the ink takes longer to dry, and I tend to start at the top, at the bottom, and work my way back, because these ones at the bottom generally end up being in the foreground. Um, so um, I get my ink, my hand gets in a thing of ink. There's a little. Stirrup. You know that the stirrup was one of the most important inventions in warfare. You know, you'd think it was something like the Gatling gun or the machine gun or the atomic bomb, 
But it wasn't. It was the stirrup. The stirrup allowed those big brutes in their armor to stay on the horse because falling off his horse, especially in midstream, he was a goner. He would have landed in the water and he's supposed to float in this cast iron thing. No, that's not going to happen. Okay, let's do another one. So there's one. Let's see. No. No. Aha! Here we have gray. Do I have anything that I can do in gray? Where's my paintbrush? Is this gray? Yes, this is gray. So here's my paintbrush. This will be a two-tone thing. Dip this in. I haven't put a sack in it. As you can see, it's a really nice nib. And I will arrange it so it'll look work well. Okay, what do we have here? Now, well, I'll start with... Oh, why am I starting at the bottom? I'm only going to get ink on it. And we'll just have ink happen. When I play um, this game, and I really think about what I'm doing, I usually try to have the line work that I make be similar to the line work that I am given. And, you know, the one I just did made me think rather angularly and forcefully. So you saw how I was drawing that one. This one, on the other hand, is making me draw more lyr lyrically. Is that the right word I want? And why am I cross? Why am I hatching? little piggy. There's our Achilles heel. Anyway, um, I don't mean to be doing this. I'm just babbling. Okay, so the top half I still don't, I still haven't figured out what I'm drawing yet. I thought for a second I would be drawing a frog with frog legs, but I certainly have given him or her toes. There's a play called Iolantha, Iolantha, about a, this is going to be slightly darker <clears throat> than I wanted, but about a mythical, mythical creature, not a mythical, yes, mythical. It's a myth. It didn't really happen. About a um, half-breed offspring of a god and a mortal. And the top half was a god and the bottom half was a mortal. Or front half was, I don't know which half, halves. So here we have one half and here we have the other half. So... It's going to be a shoulder. Okay. Now, how, which way? How's the head going to work on this one? Obviously, the stance is sort of add a little belly button there. You've made a loincloth for this one. Um, hmm. Still don't know. Is he looking this way or looking this way? Here's the 
there's a panache in the hat. I guess he's looking forward. I sort of wish this wasn't so dark. I can't remember. I did a, I designed a poster for a play that of Iolantha. And I guess Iolantha was a guy. Because they used a guy to draw it. Anyway, that's how that one turned out. So half pen, half brush. Let's see, we have another one we can do. No. Yes. We want to do this one. I love this game, Challenge Drawings. Do this one. Back to the pen I got. Um, No, what was this going to be? I had a thought. Now I'm changing my mind. I think I need to do this one. As you can see, I, my idea of following the directions of the lettering is not used. But maybe you'll understand why in a minute when I finish it, if I finish it. This is the Hugh Hefner. What was what was Hugh Hefner's middle name? Well, it's someone's yacht. Their square rigged boat that have H's on every single flag. Herbert Horatio Hoover. Henry Higgins. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the middle names are. Some, some person that has an H in all of their three names or nine names. So the H is emblazoned on the on the, each of the square rigged sails of this clipper ship. What do we think about that idea? Look at me, see? This is, I can't be trusted. I get, I, I, this, I've only been having problems with it in this particular, these drawings I'm doing on this paper with, I think it's because I start at the bottom and, and go upwards, which I normally wouldn't do. I, when I did model ship building, I mean, I, they were, these were plastic models. I didn't really do the wood thing. I'm too lazy. I never really bothered with the rigging, even though 
now, I think that's what I would have really enjoyed doing. And the rat t the rat lines, is that what these are called? The little things that the people climb up? Rat lines, I think. Rat lines? Why are they called that? I think that's what they're called. I guess we've made this a flag, a two-ton flag, like Poland has. Anyway, the rat lines. Um, the ones in the, mo in the plastic models were pre-made and always looked kind of lame to me because they were made of this sort of waxed or plastic covered string which just were na was nasty. When you actually see model boats where the string is used to make these things and knots are tied, those are quite satisfying. So, um, there you go. There's the Herbert Horatio Hoover Dam. Um, no, that, whatever three H's are, I'll have to look it up. Okay, do one more and then I'll do my other stuff. Okay, here we have the challenge drawings. You can turn them any, any different way you want. And... How many Marx Brothers were there? I thought maybe I'd make these into the faces of the Marx Brothers. Harpo, Chico, Groucho, Zeppo, right? What is that? Let me... Where's my phone? Hold on. Let me look it up. Marx Brothers. I think there's a famous, see, this is the picture that made me think of that. So, even though I don't normally draw, so one of them is Zeppo, Chico, Zeppo, Harpo, Groucho. Um, I may not have them in this order, though, the order that they appear here. No, oh, what the hell, I will do it the same order. So here's Zeppo. Here's Groucho. Big eyebrows and wire rim glasses. And I've got Harpo and his frumpy coat. Oh, this is a frumpy coat on, it seems. Frumpy raincoat that's filled with all sorts of stuff. And at, th at the top we have good old. God damn it! My phone, you know, it was perfectly on and now it's on low battery. And I just don't understand how crappy this battery is or this phone is or whatever. Sorry, let me try to plug you in. No. Yes. Um, and here we have at the top we've got Chico. 
and the man. I don't know what I was talking about before I was interrupted by my phone. Suddenly stopping on me. So there we have the Marx Brothers. Okay, I can tell you're on low battery power. You just told me that. And he also often wears one of these funny little hats, which I'm going to just add a little flower to. Not that he did that very often, but who knows. The only one that looks like who they're supposed to be is sort of Harpo. Of course, we don't really know what this guy looks like, but he had a that kind of a hairdo. Come on, ink. What do you think, folks? How does that look? No. Marx Brothers. Thank you for watching.